Hello, good morning and welcome to the replay. I'm Louise Winston Lee, healer and therapeutical leader and today is your Angel and Chakra Wisdom. I just need to clean my glasses, just bear with me a second. They're a bit uh, blurry. So welcome to this beautiful Sunday morning, 20th of September. Oh, no, it's not, it's the 19th, sorry. 19th of September, 2021. We do our weekly Angel and Wisdom, uh, Chakra Wisdom at 10.30 every Sunday. So if you don't have your notifications set, set them to be following me so that you receive notification every Sunday. And if you are watching me live, come and say hello. If you watch on the replay, put hashtag replay. Let's get acquainted with each other. So the week ahead is going to be with this deck this week. We're going to use Nature's Whispers. I think we used this last week. Nature's Whispers by Angela Hartfield and Josephine Wall. And then the Chakra with some cards. Uh, these ones that come in a beautiful little box like this. So, before we get started, I just want to say how excited I am for today. The sun is shining. And this afternoon, myself and Patrice Angel will be in nature. We will be hosting our first uh, full moon retreat in nature, or wild women full moon retreat in nature at Stamford Park in Ashton under Line. Um, and we will be sharing a beautiful afternoon, um, connecting with nature, connecting with our inner world, using the outer world to bring us into some inner peace, calmness, recenter our energies and align ourselves so that we are raising our vibration and uplifting our energy. Um, and I can't believe the sun's shining. I just hope and pray that it's gonna stay. So that's the first thing that's happening today. While I'm shuffling, I'm going to tell you what else is happening tomorrow. We have a full moon, which is tomorrow going into Tuesday. It's in Pisces. And I'm offering out a little freebie. Uh, if you're on my email list, you'll get further details as well. But basically, I run a Into the Light Healing Portal, which is a new and full moon healing session every month. And I'm opening it up. I'm opening it up to give you a free complimentary, free pass to come and join us tomorrow night and you get around an hour an hour or so depends i give you a little bit longer maybe where you can um receive healing connect with the angels get some wisdom um and we'll be having meditation as well as the healing it's a beautiful space connecting with the moon to help you release let go of things that are not serving you so if you're interested and you want to have a little free pass <clears throat> excuse me, um, send me a little message and I'll hook you up with the details how you can come and join us. Um, so and like I say, if you're on the email list, you've got further details in there. So that's what's happening tomorrow. And then on Friday, this whole week is reflexology week. I'm a reflexologist. I work with healing indirectly through the feet because the feet are basically linked to the whole of the body. We've got meridian energy that links to different parts from the feet and I can indirectly help you heal through your feet. So if you feel that you've got some physical, emotional, even sleep matters that you're struggling with at the moment, if you've got headaches, if you've got uh, tiredness, insomnia, um, then come and get in touch with me. It's a special offer this week for just £25 on Friday and so I'm doing that. So that's quite a busy week again. Right, I'll recap you on those in a little minute. Let's get to the Angel and Chakra Wisdom for this week. Hope you're all okay. Okay. Yeah. Just as I'm feeling my heart chakra opening up. Be true to your heart is what I'm feeling straight away. Connected straight with the heart chakra then. Um, so let's have a look at this beautiful card. So it's to me, it's saying this is the heart. And we're too busy helping to heal and focus on everybody else. When we're actually, we're not really looking at our own heart. We're too busy doing other things. When your own heart is right in front of you and it's trying to get your attention. So, yeah, it's trying to get your attention because look, there's the speakerphone. Hello, hello, 
your heart is just as important as everybody else's heart this week. Um, and it's helping also to magnify what you need to pay attention to within yourself. So it's asking you to go a little bit deeper this week because within the magnifying glass, the water's going into the water. So it's going deeper. Can you go deeper this week? Can you connect with your heart? Um, and connecting with your heart is, is actually, it says be true to your heart, listening to what feels right for you. So straight away then, before I even read the card, I felt my heart chakra open. Um, this is what I'm feeling. I'm getting a lot more in tune with my body at the moment. I'm listening to the signs my body's telling me and actually listening and actioning upon those. So it's becoming um, something that will be what my clients are going to be working on as well. It's actually becoming in tune with your own energy, listening to your own intuition and guidance. Um, so... And what I also want to say is you can't help everybody. There's these ships. These ships, see them as other people. You can't help and heal everybody. You have to sometimes go, right, that's enough. I've got to put my boundaries up. First and foremost, first and foremost is myself. I am the one that needs to focus on my attention here. Um, because sometimes the what you do goes unappreciated. So... Definitely bring, draw back your energy in because everything energy wise comes from you. If you, your heart is nourished and aligned, then you are going to have that expansion where you can share it then with everybody else, but you can't help everybody. So just put that in mind for the moment that you are just as important as everybody else. So let's see what, oh, I'm going to go with the first one that felt like. Okay, interesting. Seventh chakra, crown chakra, our connection, our oneness with the universe. This is what connects us to everybody else. It aligns us with the systematic energy of the universe and how we um, feel and see and are in the world that presence. So it says selflessness. <laughs> you can't write this. I am kind to all. I am aware that everything I do or say affects others. I will help those who seek it. I will seek out ways of being of service. I develop an attitude of looking for ways to help others instead of always waiting to be asked. Everything I do, I do from a spiritual perspective and put my heart into it. I'm going to go with that selflessness first. And also because it is about you being selfish as well so it's it's a bit of both here for you to help everybody else which you are supposed to help everybody else but you've got to put your own needs first this is saying at the end i put my heart into it you can only put your heart into it if you've worked on your own deeper uh, emotions on your inner world and be true to your heart so being aware of helping other everybody else is yes i can acknowledge that you need help but first i'm going to help me so even though it says selflessness have a little bit of selfishness as well that is what i feel because it is about bringing that balance in and you can't like the retreat that i'm running today with patrice we're helping other people to um focus on their own heart so that then they're able they're replenished so they're able to go and help other people so it's about getting that balance there and if if you have focused and worked on yourself then you can have that selflessness and you are open to help others without being asked so everything i do is from a spiritual perspective and i put my heart into it so definitely it is a bit of a mirror image here um because we've got we've got whatever you do on yourself is helping to heal others as well so that selflessness is coming because you are in that good place so this week what can you do i'm going to sneeze in a minute it feels like what can you do this week to be true to your heart um how can you go within and actually know what it is you're supposed to be doing and you'll get those answers but also taking time for you as well 
to actually what is it I need she's really focused in on what I need and looking at this beautiful um, like butterfly wings effect and she's seeing this mirror that whatever you need reflects to other people as well so it's giving that insight there into going within on that deeper level so beautiful beautiful cards this week um so don't feel bad if you've had to put your knees first a little bit and then you can go and help everybody else that's what the message is this week is to get that balance right but also you are you are a light worker in a sense you are a healer we're all there to a degree helping to heal everybody else um but um there's only so much you can do you can't help every single person be that's why it's asking you to go with him so that you are choosing wisely what you do and it feels right with him beautiful beautiful cards so I am going to go and get ready now for my retreat this afternoon. If you still want to join, you've still got time. With We begin at 2pm in Ashton on the line. And don't worry, if you don't come to this one, I'm feeling an evening one is going to happen. I feel like um, I might do something in the evening. Not sure where, um, but I'm feeling um, the, new, the full moon in uh, October. Of an evening is coming up so if you're interested and you feel like that and I'm talking about lots of different things I've not planned anything but I feel being under the full moon itself in darkness would be really cool and um, to actually feel the presence of the moon because on on Friday night I went on a little secret kind of uh, mission uh, where I spent the evening with some lovely ladies under the full moon well more or less full moon because like two or three days before you still got the energy of the moon um and we did some manifesting um and i'll tell you a bit more about that in the coming weeks when i know a bit more about how that's manifesting to be honest because there was a purpose to why i went to this event excuse me so yeah it is so powerful being under the full moon so excited for this okay so have a beautiful beautiful week don't forget, if you want to come and join my full moon healing portal tomorrow with a free pass, let me know. You just get in touch. And if you want to come and have some reflexology, it's on special offer this week for £25 this week only. Okay, have a beautiful, beautiful day. Blessings, Louise.